Alrighty guys, so uh, I just recorded my vinyl collection. I switched up the background a little bit. I'm at my desk. Interfering flag, uh, two Caldan brood flags, uh, Iron Maiden poster thing that my girlfriend made me for our anniversary, uh, Rotting Christ, Catatone, Amona, a toy flag, my guitar, my stereo, and a big pile of CDs that I'm going to show you guys in this video. So uh, A is definitely the heftiest section of my collection. These are all my A albums. And I'm also going to show you the one album that I have that's numbered, that doesn't fit into alphabetical order. And I'm going to show you my box sets, which I only have two, and uh, my A5 digipacks. So we'll start with the A5 digipacks. This isn't really a digipack, it's a DVD case, but it's uh, Streborg, Perceiving the World with Hate. Streborg is a one-man black metal band, uh, atmospheric ambient really hateful hazy black metal band from Tasmania uh, this is a great release cool DVD case I'm gonna try to go through these a little faster just because there's not as much to show and uh, you know I got a lot more uh, a lot more stuff with a lot more CDs than vinyl so I gotta go through them faster L4 into the dark forest really cool like dungeon ambient sort of music with depressive like throaty black metal vocals. This is limited to uh, 666 copies on Northern Sounds Productions. Pretty cool shit. There's a picture of uh, L4 himself playing keyboards. This this guy, it's a one-man band, he's from the Basque region of Spain. Pretty cool. Really good shit. All keyboards. Moving on to a band that I love. One of the most fun bands ever. I have more of their CDs, but they're on my upper shelf, which I'll show later. And uh, I have a box set. This is Ailstorm, Sunset on the Golden Age. This is the mail order box set that you could get. Uh, comes with a flask, which is pretty fucking cool. I don't drink, so I don't really ever use it. Uh, two Ailstorm coasters. Uh, the Digibook uh, version of Sunset on the Golden Age, which comes with the uh, bonus CD, Rum Plugged, uh, including Questing Upon the Poop Deck, which is a fucking hilarious song. And a DVD. It also came with a patch, which is. Right here, just a patch of the album artwork. I'm gonna sew it onto my vest as soon as possible. And it also came with a keychain, which I uh, a bottle opener, which I have on my keychain. Uh, like most people, when a lot of people when they get box sets, they like to keep everything intact. But for me, when I get a box set, like I just see like the shit's in there to be used, so why not fucking use it? But yeah, sounds like the Golden Age box set, pretty cool. Rotting Christ, Catatone, Amona, Atoy. This is limited to 4,000 copies. This comes with a bonus track that. That flag, um, this cool medallion dealio. I'm just gonna put that on and wear it like that backwards for the rest of the video. Digipack CD with the bonus track Welcome to Hell. This is a really good gothic black metal album, really groovy and like aggressive and shit. I'm not gonna, because it drives my OCD crazy if my shit is not all in the box set. So, there we go. And now getting into the actual CDs, Three Inches of Blood, Advance and Vanquish. These guys just broke up recently, which fucking sucks. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, ripping, fucking old school, like power metal, heavy metal. Uh, amazing clean vocals by Cam Pipes. Uh, the unclean vocals by Jamie Hooper are really cool too, like really throaty, crazy screams. Amazing stuff. Check out the song, Fear on the Bridge, Deadly Sinners. Uh, Premonition of Pain is probably my favorite song. Lord of the Storm, Crazy Nights, Axes of Evil, anything off this album is amazing. Abigail Williams, Within the Shadow of a Thousand Suns. A lot of people don't like this band because they're like fake poser black metal or whatever. Cool album, cool album art. It kind of looks like a deathcore band from the album art, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is kind of like symphonic black, like, like black metal with some like melodic death metal and deathcore elements. It's really weird. Uh, Tream from Emperor plays drums on this, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I really do enjoy this album. It's really unique and really weird for black metal, and I'm sure a lot of people hate it, but I think it's pretty good. Aborted, Strychnine 213. Eh, I don't really care too much about Aborted. Like, I, this was one of the first CDs I bought when I was really into death metal, and now I don't care for too much death metal anymore, really. There's a few really great standout bands, but most of it just kind of sounds samey. Cool artwork, though, with like the chick, like all tied up and the barbed wire it's pretty brutal but yeah it's just just kind of death metal you know there's nothing really special about it but it's an okay album i guess 
Aborted Fetus, Private Judgment Day. This album artwork is crazy. It's too kind. It's kind of too dark to see there, but there's some pretty crazy shit happening. Look up this album artwork if you want to see something fucked up. Uh, really good slam, really fast, really crazy, uh, really really heavy. Pretty good stuff. Uh, one of my favorite albums of all time, Acid Bath, When the Kites Dream Pops. This is a 2004, I believe. Yeah, 2004 Rotten Records a remaster. Rotten Records remaster. Uh, really amazing album, uh, grungy, death metal, sludge metal, bluegrass, southern rock, black metal, like so, like just really dark, sludgy, southern, bluesy, doom metal. It's so like creepy to listen to. The vocals are amazing. Dax Riggs does an amazing job with the vocals. Uh, if you haven't heard this, you have to. It's essential for doom metal. Listen to the song Tranquilize, Cheap Vodka, Finger Paintings of the Insane, Stream of the Butterfly, Dr. Seuss is Dead, uh, Cassie's Cockroaches, Bones of Baby Dolls. Bones of Baby Dolls and Scream of the Butterfly are all acoustic, like, folk bluegrass songs. It's really, really amazing. Pretty long album, too, but definitely worth the patience and the time. Acid Witch, which Chanic Hallucinations. Love this artwork. Love this album. Uh, really good shit. Death Doom, uh, really like influenced by like 80s horror movie soundtracks, really cool shit. That's and this is their second album, Stone. This artwork is actually the back patch on my battle jacket, which is really cool. Probably because I love the artwork. Like that's a really fucking cool image. It just reminds me of horror movies, and I fucking love horror movies. And this is just an amazing album. I mean, check out the song Witchfinder Finder. Uh, Live Forever is really good. Stone to the Grave is my favorite song off the album. Uh, and Metal Movie Marijuana Massacre Meltdown has a really awesome riff and just a really cool, like, sort of concept and shit. Good stuff. And the 10 out of 10 album, uh, absolutely perfect. One of the best albums of all time. Agalock The Mantle. No words, it's just perfect. Perfect folk black metal with some doom progressive shit. Everything on here, uh, in the Shadow of Our Pale Companion and the Hawthorne Passage are the two best songs up here that you absolutely have to check out. If you don't know Agalock, you're doing something wrong. Sorry, I'm talking kind of fast. I'm kind of trying to go through these a little fast. Agalock, Ashes Against the Grain, Slipcase. Uh, this is another amazing album. As good as The Mantle. I just prefer The Mantle just a little bit because of the acoustic instrumentation. just kind of puts The Mantle over the top for me, but it's a great album. When I bought it, I bought it used, and so I put a sticker right on there, so when I pull it off, it fucking ripped off this, the paper off the slipcase, which really pisses me off, but whatever shit happens, but yeah. Don't put fucking stickers on shit if you know it's gonna break this, make this fuck up the CD. You piece of shit. Uh, this is amazing. This is uh, Agalock as well. This is the Faustian Echoes EP. It's one track. It's 24 minutes long. Uh, there's some really awesome stuff on here. Great story being told. If you know the story of Faust at all, it's really cool shit. Uh, awesome art. Uh, I got this when I saw them live. They were one of the best live bands I've ever seen. They killed it. Uh, yeah, 24 minutes of just absolute beautiful, hazy, epic black metal. Cool, really awesome shit, folky. You guys all know Agalock. You should definitely know this EP. And the new album from 2014, last year, uh, Ashes Against the Ashes Against the Grain, The Serpent and the Sphere. Uh, I wasn't too big on this one. I think it's very good. There's some really amazing songs in here. Plateau of the Ages is great. Dark Matter Gods is a really good song with a great. We fade into the sun. Like, that part of the song is just really cool. But, uh, I don't know, I just didn't really connect with it as much as I did with the previous three I showed. Like, those albums, I was like, oh, they're so good, I just immediately got it. This one's just, I appreciate the musicianship and the atmospheres, but I don't really, I don't get it like I got the other albums. Still a really good album, though, definitely worth a listen. Moving on to my favorite bands currently going, Ahab. This is The Call of the Wretched Sea. As it says on the side, not a funeral doom, that's exactly what it is. Beautiful, crushing, heavy as fuck funeral doom about the ocean. And it just sounds like the fucking ocean. It's so good. This album is a 10 out of 10. Uh, check out the song Old Thunder. That's my favorite song on the album. And uh, uh, Below the Sun. Awesome, al awesome album. And this one's just as good. Divinity of the Oceans. Slightly more melodic, but still heavy as fuck. The first one was a lot more sludgy, a lot more huge riffs, but this one still has huge riffs, but you know, little, little different. Uh, really amazing album, Gnawing Bones, check that song out. Uh, the Divinity of Oceans, the title track is amazing, just 
it starts with such this like heavy, heavy, heavy as fuck riff, it's just like as heavy as the fucking ocean. Then like later it breaks down, just this beautiful melodic passage, and this album's just amazing. I like the painting and shit on there. Uh, all their albums, I don't know if, if you don't know Ahab, all their albums are concept albums about oceanic stories. There's a new one coming out this year, The Boats of the Glen Carrig. Pre-ordering the fuck out of that. I'm so excited. Even though the artwork doesn't look super cool, I think it looks kind of stupid. I'm sure the album is going to be amazing. This is their 2012 release called The Giants. Uh, no words, 10 out of 10. Every album they've done has been a 10 out of 10 for me. Amazing Funeral Doom. It's just, it's so good like you have to listen to it like from the second you hear like the the jazzy sort of bluesy but really like ominous intro of the song further south you know that this is going to be a heavy as fuck nautical journey of just pure fucking doom dude it's so fucking good man it's awesome this is the digipack version comes with a bonus track uh called times like molten lead which is a really good song uh, listen to the song Aeon's Elapse, that's my favorite Ahab song, the best song in here. It's also the longest song Ahab has ever done. And Antarctica the Polymorphous, both of those songs are amazing, but Aeon's Elapse, you have to hear that. Uh, one of my favorite melodic death metal records, Amon Amarth vs. The World. You guys probably all know who Amon Amarth is. Uh, this, is a, this comes with a bonus CD of some demos and uh, old EPs and shit, which is pretty cool, but I'm in it for the main album. It's my favorite Amon Amarth album, for sure. Uh, my favorite song is uh, Down the Slopes of Death. That song is incredible. Down the Slopes of Death He Rides. Fucking awesome. Amon Amarth are so fucking epic and so heavy. Uh, Fate of Norns, very good album. There's some songs in here that aren't too great, but there's some songs in here that are really great, so... From what I understand, this is kind of like the least favorite Amon Amarth album of a lot of people. Like, it's still good, but like, there's a few. Like, the song Valkyrie's Ride really isn't that great. But the last two songs, Arson and One Sealed in Blood, fucking awesome. They kind of tell like the same story over the two songs. It's really cool. And the one from 2013 that everyone hated, but I thought it was really good. Uh, Deceiver of the Gods. Uh, no one liked the artwork, no one liked the music. I thought it was a really great album. Like, I thought that the songs were really cool, the riffs were great. Father of the Wolf is a fucking epic song. The opening riff of Deceiver of the Gods is so cool. And the best song on here, in my opinion, is uh, We Shall Destroy. Uh, Coming of the Tide and Warriors of the, Warriors of the North is like an eight-minute epic, which is really cool. And the song Hell features Messiah Markolin from Candlemass, one of my favorite clean vocalists of all time. So I fucking jizzed when I heard that song. Literally. It's so good. This is a good album. I don't know why everyone didn't like it. I don't get it. Uh, just got into these guys. People have been saying for years, like not for years, but for a long time, people have been telling me you gotta get into Amorphous. Like Amorphous is an amazing band, so I picked this up used one day and I love it. Uh, it's Amorphous with Elegy, Digipack, kind of like a pet piece here, telling like what the album's about and shit. Uh, amazing stuff. Every track on here is just really cool. I love the sitar. I love like the psychedelic progressive. I don't like progressive death metal. I don't really like progressive music in general that much, but. Amorphous does it right. I love the sitar and all the weird spacey sounds in with the death metal. And finally, I'm going to try to go through this real quick so that we can move on. I can't make a video over 15 minutes long. Autopsy with Macabre Eternal. It's like death doom metal with like, but with like all the atmosphere, like grimy, like gritty, like disgusting old school death metal. Really good shit. Check out the song Dirty Gore Whore, Always About to Die. Uh, a sadistic gratification and sewn into one. So uh, that's part A uh, of my CD collection and my box sets and all that shit. So I'll see you for the next one.